Good morning guys, um, just wanted to say welcome to day 29. We're one day away from completing the 30 day challenge of daily vlogging. And so, just kind of clean the car real quick. And so, I just wanted to kind of show you guys our parking lot before I went in. This is absolutely ridiculous. So we've got a Porsche, we've got two Porsches, a 911 Targa, well a 911 convertible, a Boxster, and then that little thing right there is nothing special, just a uh, Jetta, and there's our Brissot. But then at the end is our Bentley. So check this out. It's like, yeah, that thing is ridiculous. So guys, yeah, just wanted to say welcome to day 29. All right, I'll catch you guys later. This is also a quick shot of the inside of our garage right now. It's absolutely crazy. There's Porsches everywhere. Hey guys, I just finished up another day at Avalon. And yeah, what can you say? Just another day in the bags. So yeah, kind of what's been going on is, what has been going on lately? Uh, I don't even remember. But yeah, so still on the search for a ZHP. Uh, one of the main things that I'm gonna be working on and striving towards is being able to kind of plan out my days to where it's I'm not wasting any time to where I'm using I'm utilizing my 24 hours in the most efficient way as possible I remember talking to ET well not talking to ET but listening to a talk given by ET where he is where he's pretty much saying that um, that like we like the difference between like Oprah, like Steve Jobs, like Shay Carl, and like all these other prominent figures in the world is that is that like they utilize their 24 hours better than the most of the than most of the average people out there. So that's gonna be one of my goals for the rest of this year is to utilize my time in a manner that that is pushing me forward, that is pushing me towards something greater than what I currently have. Because like right now I'm 26, and like that's not old by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm also like, I'm not 24 anymore. And like I remember E.T. talking also about how like, it was just in one of his mixtapes where, um, I'll see if I can put it in right here. So I need you to do me a huge favor, all right? So we're gonna start here. When I was young, and a lot of you, it's a, it's, it's a disease, and we're gonna fix it tonight. When you're young, you got 14, you got 15, you got 16, you got 17, and what happens when you're young, time is real slow. You like, you can't wait when you're 15. Like, my daughter's 14, just turned 14 in March. And I, you know, people ask her, how old are you? She said, I'm gonna be 15. I'm like, you just turned 14 in March. Like, I'm like, boo, let's do the math. Like, March 6th, you got April, you're not even in May, and you already off in the 15. You, listen to me, you are 14. And you know, when you're young, you go with the 14 and a half, 14 and three quarters, and then you're 15. Now, when you get my age, you start, like, you, like, forget on purpose, right? Somebody asked me the other day how old I was. I'm like, I'm 40. I've been 40 in a year, right? I'm still holding on, I'm like, I'm 40. And then while I was saying, I was like, you just lied. You're not 40, you're 41, right? And so when you're young, you got a lot of time and you feel like, you know, I, time is on my side and I, I just wanna encourage you, listen to me closely. When you turn 21, when I turned 21, I woke up the next day and I was 25. Like you young and you like, he tripping, what is he saying? I'm, if I had any adults that's my age, they know what I'm talking about. And then you go from 25, you wake up 30. And you didn't get like no birthdays, nothing happened. 25, like I'm being honest with you. Now look around at some grown folk, they doing like this. Yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. And so then you go 25, 30, and then you wake up and you like 40. And you like, what happened? My son's about to be a senior in high school. I'm tripping, I just had a little man. We were just traveling across the country together. Now my man is 6'2", looking down at me, but I let him know, I, you got height, but I will, I will knock you out if you try to. Your little height don't mean nothing to me. So watch this very close. You gotta hear what I'm saying because once you understand how valuable time is, once you understand, now I'm 40 years old. I don't know if you caught that, but unfortunately the next thing is 50. 
That's it. And then 50, like you, my grandfather told me, he said, son, once you turn 50, it's like downhill from there. He like, you running six, seven miles a day, you will not be doing that at 65, right? And so this is a sense of urgency that I got, like, I, I might not only have 10 left, 10 good, you know, strong years. I don't know what's going on. Granddaddy scared me with the 50. Right? So you hear me say on my video, I'm talking about opportunity, listen to me. Sleep is the new broke because what happens is, if you only have 24 hours, all right, I got to say this. I got to take my time because I want to make sure you get this. If you only have 24 hours in a day, your success is dependent upon how you use the 24. That really made me realize that it's just like I'm, like I'm still extremely young, but there's also things that, how can I put this? Hmm. Like, I need to be start using my time. Like, I'm no longer the youngest person, like, out there anymore. Like, I remember back in the day where, like, back in the day. I remember, like, two, three years ago where it's like, I would be the youngest person in the room. And, like, I was doing extremely well from a career standpoint, from a financial standpoint, and all these other standpoints. But, like, that's kind of changed. Like, I've taken a big step back in my career. I am no longer the youngest one in the room now. There's people who are younger than me. Um, they're like, it's just things have changed. And now it's like up to me to adapt to those changes and make the adjustments and not just kind of stick with, stick, stay where I am and what I've currently been doing. Like it's time to kind of crank it up. And one of the things that today, it was like, it was such a struggle, a absolute struggle this morning getting up. So I've got to figure out how to make the adjustments to where I'm able to get up in the morning and be like fully refreshed and ready to go. So that's gonna be one of the things that I am going to be working on is just figuring out how to make the adjustments to be successful and figuring out how I can best utilize my time to get me towards the goals that I want. Like I actually was, I was driving today and I was listening to a podcast by um, E.T., Carlos, and Carl and like two things and like I remember like very, three things kind of stood out to me in this and like they were talking about like hey like we are straight mind body and soul like this is like what we do we thrive in all three of those arenas like we've been blessed to thrive in those three arenas and kind of like so one of the things like that also popped up in that podcast was E.T. was asking because his big thing is that he wants to win a Nobel Peace Prize a Nobel Peace Prize and and like so like that's like every it's kind of known and like the E.T. community is just like yeah hey this is something that he wants to achieve but like I, in the Ask E.T. segment the guy like one of the uh, one of the guys asked like hey so E.T. we know that you've got this big goal but in the meantime what are some of the things that you want to accomplish and that really got me to thinking as to like with all of my like long-term goals what are some of the short-term ones that like I want to accomplish and there's three primary ones that like I that I want to hit before the end of 2007 the end of 2016 so I'm just gonna kind of like eloquent those to you guys right now um, I shouldn't say eloquent like articulate that's a better word so the first one is um, I want to have a phenomenal friend group um, and so that means like me getting into an environment where I can get help. Um, the second one is I, by I've kind of like come to the decision that like by the end of 2016, like I want to join the Obsessed Garage team. Like I want to be like the number three guy on that team because it's just like number one is obviously Matt Mormon who started the company, and then there's another guy who's kind of the CEO, so that's running the day-to-day -day operations, um, Joshua. And like, I want to be the third. I want to be like the third person who comes in there and just like helps them get to like that next level. That is something that like I truly, truly want to do. As well as like, it puts me into an environment like where like I'm doing something that I truly want to do. Like it's, it gives me into more of a startup environment to where it's not just me doing like the day-to-day -day things. Like I don't have a set task. It's, it's in more of the 
the realm was like, hey, you do, we do it needs to be done. And like, that's it. And like, I really want to have a role like that. And then like the third thing is like, I want to have, a, the, this is probably the most important one out of them all. Um, I want to have a relationship with God. Like I want to have a relationship with dad. And to the point where like, and that for me, that looks, that really does look like having a daily conversation with him. And similar to the way that like, like that King David did before he truly became king was just like before I step out and do anything, like I consult God first. And so that way it's, it's a God ordained thing versus like me asking God to bless something that I, I've that I've been working on, something that like I as a man have been pushing towards. So yeah, those are the kind of the big three. Um, just to reiterate them, uh, having a phenomenal friend group, um, being the third guy to join us as garage, joining that phenomenal team of people, and then having a strong relationship with dad. Like those are my big three that I want to accomplish, that I'm going to accomplish this year. So yeah guys, um, I'm just gonna be driving home right now. As you can kind of see, I'm in a little bit of, the eh, traffic's not bad. Um, yeah, traffic's not bad. It's only 617. So, um, yeah, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I just wanted to thank you guys for checking out day, I believe this is day what? Day 29? Yeah, this is day 29 because we're one day away from it. Um, from completing the 30 day challenge that I've done. So yeah guys, I will talk to you tomorrow and please don't let me get stuck in this intersection. Yay, I didn't. Yay, I kinda did. That's all right though, we're making it work. <laughs> um, uh, it might be smart to do this. Yeah, this is probably a smart way to go. Come on, come on. There we go, guy, there we go. Um, yeah, so just thanks, thank you guys for uh, yeah, being with me on this journey, and we'll determine day three. We're gonna continue with the daily vlogs. So, guys, I'm gonna sign off right now, and I will talk to you tomorrow for day 30. See ya.